G'day guys! Whoops! <laughs> Welcome back! I'm squished in here and I've got all this stuff going on. Oh, right. This is nerve-wracking. I'm going to do a three-tiered cake stand with the um, 3D bloom. Well, I should say I'm going to try. I've never attempted anything this big before. So I'm really nervous. Let me get my gloves on. I'm going to do um, white and pink. So here's my little scribble. I always draw myself a little picture first of what I want to do. So I'm going to do smaller petals first. Because you know, usually I do big ones first and then I go in over the top and do little ones. Those little ones need to be on the other side. Like they need to be on the front rather than the back. So I'm going to do the little ones first in pink. And then I'm going to come through and I'm going to do bigger white ones like over the top. So that's what I'm going to do. Nerve wracking, like I said. Um, I made up my resin. Um, I made 520 grams and I've I mixed it in here and then I poured half into here just so that it's not going to get too hot. But it is starting to warm up now. It has been sitting for 25 minutes. So I'm going to decant and then let it sit for another 20 minutes before I pipe. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. Right, um, let's start with a little bit of resin in my gold leaf. That's going to be my centre. A little bit in there. And I better move my little picture out of the way so I don't drip on it. Might need that. And then I want to put, I've worked out how much resin I need because I don't need as much pink as I do white. So I've decided to do 80 grams of resin for the pink and 120 for the white. That's 200 all up. I uh, hope that's enough. Actually, maybe I should um, maybe I should put some resin in here first. You see how much I've actually got left, hey? Because I'd hate to hate to run out. I don't even know how much I'm going to need. I'm just guesstimating here. So I'm just going to let that run to the edges. It hasn't even run to the edges yet. I hope I've made up enough. In trouble if I haven't, hey. Just can't exactly make up some more because <laughs> it has to sit for the same amount of time. All right, so that's that one done. Let me just shut the door. Dogs are barking. That's something I don't know. I thought I'd leave the door open, but um, they're just being noisy. Now this one, I'm just going to pour into the jug so that it's easier for me to manage so let me just pour it in there you don't need to watch me do that i'm just doing it over here on the side scrape 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 it out yeah so i just sort of estimated on how much i would need so it's just over two cups of resin so now we've got that left okay something in there mm, little tiny piece of glitter okay um, now let's pour some in here I haven't used these molds before but you can see they've got the little nib so I don't have to drill a hole yay that's exciting no drilling holes <laughs> Alrighty, have we gone, come to the side? Yes, everybody's come to the side except you. But I do need to... I want to see how much I've got left in here. Let's have a look. I may just have to not use all of it. Mix that up into a paste. Because I've got a lot of resin here, I'm just worried that it's going to set really quickly. 
I think regardless of whether this works or not, because it's such a lot of resin and you know it's expensive, I think I'm just going to show the video anyway, regardless of if it works or not. What do you think? Get in there. There we go. All right, it's touching the sides. Yay! Okay, now let's have a look and see how much resin I've got left. If I have to, I mean, I can always pinch some out of these. I haven't decided if I want to do a second coat, like a top coat or not. Right, now, how much have I got? I've got about two-thirds of a cup. So I need 80. It's not looking likely. How about we go to 60? And then see what we've got left for the next one. Hopefully more than 80, because this is going to be my white. Oh, sorry, it's more than 60. Oh, there we go. 70. Let's see if we can push it to 90. 86, 87, 88, 89. 90, yay! Three ounces. Okay, so two ounces in the one and uh, three ounces in the other. Now, don't knock it over, Julie. <gasps> now, the last little bit I'm just going to scrape into here. So I don't think this one's got quite as much as the others have. It's a bit hard. It's, it's really hard to scrape because the, these jugs have had resin in them and then, like, I've just wiped them out with paper towel. So they've got quite a build-up. Um, speaking of wiping out with paper towel... I'm just going to do that now because I have got some time to kill and um, I want to clean these out so that I can use them again next time. So I just wipe them out with the paper towel, chuck that. I've got a whole heap of paper towel that I've got already torn up, ready to go. <laughs> okay, that's that one done. Sorry if it's boring, but, you know, it's got to be done. It's got to be done, and I've got to do it now. I can't really take my gloves off, pause the video, come and clean these out, put my gloves back on, clean them out, take them back off again, unpause the video. So anyway, there we go. All clean for tomorrow. Now, um, I've got resin all over these gloves. I'm going to chuck them. So... Gloveless at the moment, but I'm not going to touch any resin. I'm just going to do some torching. And um, then I'm going to come back and we'll mix up some colours. Actually, maybe I'll do that now. And then we just have to wait for the 45-minute the time frame. Now, just because I wait 45 minutes doesn't mean you should as well. The resin I'm using is the Platinum Ultra Clear and uh, that's how long it takes. So check that these aren't getting too hot. Please don't get too hot and ruin everything for me. Yeah so you'll just have to have a little play around with your particular resin. I'm just going to go along the edges here and uh, release any bubbles the bubbles get trapped in those little bendy duvalackies, don't they? So hopefully by me doing this they'll just kind of unstick and then rise up to the top and then I can torch them, hopefully. But <clears throat> I am, because I'm putting the gold leaf in the middle, um, I am going to paint the edges in gold. So if, if there's a couple of bubbles stuck in the, the corners, so to speak, it won't really matter. I'm concerned that these might be getting hot because they're quite thick. Um, I'm going to tip them back into another container. Let me just put my gloves back on. See, if I had to, it's quite deep and it's getting hot. So I'm going to pour it back in here. 
otherwise it's going to set up way too quick. I know, I've just cleaned it out, haven't, didn't I? Silly. But, yeah. Okay. Now that was my um, that was my three ounces, wasn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh, that bit of glitter's back. Um, how's this one doing? It should be all right. It's not as deep. This one I was concerned about. Okay. Um, we're at ten past five in the afternoon. <clears throat> um, I need to pipe at. 20 past 5. So I've got 10 minutes. Um, I might start on this one. This one's warming up too. But anyway, I'm going to go for it. Okay, so this one, I'm going to put those out of the way. This is my pink. So I've worked out. Um, so what have I got? I've got 60 and 90, haven't I? <clears throat> So if you're doing 30, oh, wrong one, if you're doing 30 grams and 5 drops of cast and craft for um, 60 grams, which is 2 ounces, you would do 10. So let's do 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So it's going to be my pink one, but it still needs to have the cast and craft. So what I'm going to do is, I thought this would be really pretty. Ice pink. I'm going to add a little bit of that. And then if it's not, I don't want it like really, really dark. But if it's not quite dark enough, um, I'll add one drop or so of the alcohol ink. I'm just going to put a little bit of that baby pink in there. see what happens. It's getting quite warm. I did it at oh, once and it was so hot it literally burnt me. Okay so that's not pink enough. We can add a little bit more. I don't think I should add any more. That is the pixie dust pigments and then we've got this pink magenta, uh, not magenta, pink by pinata. Let's just do one drop for starters and see what we're going to get. Like I said, I don't want a very dark pink, but then I want it to look pink, you know, I don't want it to be too, too pale. It's starting to look pretty. I'm going to add another drop. Um... I'm going to pour it into here. I'm worried about the, the temperature of it. I should just mix them in. I should just mix them in these wider cups rather than in these cups. Then I don't have to be too concerned about it. Let's hope it stops the, um, the heat activation. I'll just mix the white in there. This is a better idea. I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place. Because I haven't done one this size before. That's why. That is why. All right, how's that looking for a, a pink? Uh, let's do one more drop. So that's three drops in all. I hope I've stopped that heat transference. It's got a bit of a shimmer, actually. I might put a tiny bit more of this in. There we go. I, like, I wanted a bit of a shimmer, you see. I'm going to do the same with the white. I'm going to put a little bit of white mica in. I don't know whether or not this is going to um, like not work as well because it's got the mica powder in. I, I don't know. I probably shouldn't be trying something I've never done before on a big piece. Hey. Mm, are you going to mix in properly now? Just fast forward if you don't want to watch me mixing, you guys. I'm sorry. All right, I've got five minutes now before I have to pipe. 
it's got a pretty shimmer to it and it's just a nice pale pink just a, a baby pink how's this going yep <laughs> can't exactly stick my finger in to take, test its temperature can i all right now we're going to do the same with the white so this is three ounces so five drops per ounce we need guests yes 15 here we go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen oh my gosh it's such a lot of product hope it works right um now i think i'm going to do like six drops of alcohol because i did three in that one one two three four five six and then and then and then and then and then <laughs> who's seen the movie hands up Okay, if you haven't seen it, you have no idea what I'm talking about. You just think I'm a crazy, wacko woman. Right, now into the white, I'm going to add some of this white satin by Lorez. Just because I've put marker in the, in the pink, I want to do it in the white as well. So let's do about that much. I think that's probably equal to what I put in the, the pink. How are you going? Yeah, you feeling all right? I haven't got a temperature. Are you feeling good? Hope so. All right, let's mix this in. Hopefully, we'll get a pretty shimmer to this um, set three tier cake stand. I'm just going to come around the back and make sure we're still taping. It still bothers me, even though I've transferred all my photos and all my videos onto my desktop because my videos were stopping um, halfway through or I'd get in like a couple of minutes and it would just stop and I'm here talking away to myself and it's not recording now I've got to make sure that there's no lumps and bumps or make sure there's no unmixed mica in that and it's feeling good yep still feeling good I'm going to push it as long as I can. I've still got another three minutes to go until I get to the 45 minute mark. But what I want to make sure, if it's not so much for me, it's not so much the time, but it's it's it when it leaves a, a mound, which it's doing. See, it's leaving a mound. Before, when I did that, uh, you know, before I started mixing, the resin would just drop straight down. It wouldn't leave a mound at all. So... And that's getting nice and thick. Now I just hope, I might have to do two, <clears throat> two layers actually, I'm, I'm not sure. Like I could even put a, a clear, like food safe one on afterwards. Um, no, I can't because it's going to be upside down. I can always put a different colour or just clear on afterwards if I want to make it thicker, you know. But with these um, cupcake stands, if you make them too thick, the little um, screws that go between there's not enough room and it's really wobbly so I think you're better off making them a little bit thinner than a bit too thick can you see the mound okay I think we're pretty right righto let's get this show on the road Let's do this first and obviously we can't just go in the middle because there's a little little nib in the middle there so we'll just go around it like so for each and obviously more on the biggest one then less and then the smallest amount on the, the smallest one. I just didn't want to put too much on in case I didn't have enough, but I've got enough so this one can have a little bit more. Because he's the big daddy. Goldilocks and the three bears is the is the daddy one. 
Oops, I'm not exactly centered there. The good thing about having these is you can see where your center is. There's no guesswork here. You can see where it is. And make sure that your bench, your table is really level so your resin doesn't fly away off to one side. Oh, that worked out pretty good. Look at that. Just enough. Woohoo! All right. Starting to get a bit tacky, so let's pour the white into this one. Be interesting to see if I can, you know, if there's enough three ounces, uh, whether it's enough to do a three tier cake stand. Because if you've never done one before, you really don't know how much to use. So this will be a good little test. And hopefully everyone out there can learn from it as to how much we need. I should really wipe that, but I'm not going to at the moment. Let's get that out. <clears throat> look at all of that. Just gonna get, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at it all. Oh, ah, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, it's warm, but it's not hot. It's not too hot. Putting it in that other container was a good thing to do. Otherwise, it would have set up for sure, and I would have been very upset, and I would have cried that I've wasted all my resin. Hey, I'm not the only one that would have been upset. Hey, I'm sure you guys get upset if you waste product. Right, I'm not going to wipe that one out just yet either. Hopefully I'll still have time to do it afterwards. So, 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 now the size of the hole is the question. You sit there for a minute. And keep the pressure on that. You can tuck that in. Mm, I think I'm going to do like, I don't know, about four. It's probably about four millimetres. All right, I'm really nervous, you guys. Now, if you hold it up, it just drips slowly, okay? Actually, we're past 45 minutes now, so. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Sorry if I don't talk, I'm going to concentrate. Oops, missed that one. Okay, next one. Just gonna make sure I'm going slow enough that I'm not dragging too much and like thinning the resin out. It don't matter. I'm sure it won't matter, will it? it? Won't matter. All right. So this will be. Look at this. I've got more. I've got lots of pink left. I start off small and then get bigger. I wonder if that's enough. Still got lots of pink left. Oh well. <clears throat> I guess I can always 
No, no, I don't want to overdo it. I don't want it to overdo it. All right, here we go. Cut this one. Hang on, make sure we're still taping. Yes. Yeah, I don't want to put too, too much on, you know, like too much, too busy. Mm, you could be a little bit bigger, I think. Alrighty. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Oh, not really. I'm just going to... I want these to like overlap. I'm hoping to have like points, but at the end. My big noggin of the head's not in the way. Okay. So hopefully, because the pink's on the other side, that'll be in front of the white. Is what I was... That's my plan anyway. All right, let me tighten this up again. All right. Here we go. All right, last one. Please work, please work, please work. All right, this is the biggest one. Here we go. Up, down, cross over, point, cross over, point, cross over. left okay so we don't need that much next time okay now let's do some torching got my heat gun put it on low round we go round we go round we go outside in outside in Hope I haven't left it too long. It was after 45 minutes. These ones are much further apart than those ones. I think I'm done. Oh my gosh, that was a mammoth effort. I'm going to get cleaned up. I guess it would have been nice to do maybe a few more because on the smaller ones, they're much closer together, these white ones. But I guess it's all relative, isn't it? The smaller one, they're closer together, and then as they get bigger, the petals get further and further apart. So, I don't know. <laughs> oh, I'm just so glad that it's done. All right, I'm going to get cleaned up, get my gloves off. Actually, no, I'm just going to pause you. I'm going to get cleaned up, and I'm going to come back in 10, oh, no, half an hour, all right? We'll see what's happening with them. Look, you guys, look. It's worked. I'm so excited. I can see a few little blobbies in the background there. You know, when I've, I don't know, maybe, maybe I 
overheated the resin maybe I didn't wait quite long enough I did end up waiting 50 minutes but see down there there's a few little blobbies but I think it'll be fine it's looking really amazing hopefully we'll keep some of that blank space between the petals see how the white has drifted inward it's almost closed up but there are a few areas there now the decision I have to make is do I leave it clear like this or do I put a top coat in I don't know gold darker pink Oh, I just don't know. See, there's a little few little blobbies down in there as well. It may, it may be because of the mica powder I put in, but we are getting really pretty scalloped edges, and they're really shiny. You know, they're glossy because of the mica. So, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. But they do look really, really pretty so happy with them i wish you guys could tell me if i should put a top coat on or not i might put up a photo and just ask people for their opinions because i'm not really going to know what they're going to look like until i take them out but then it's going to be kind of too late i need to do it this evening put a top coat on if i'm going to do it i don't know i think i overheated this big one a little bit more it's got a few more blobbies than than these ones or it could have been that I was doing much bigger petals and maybe I didn't put as much of the color on like maybe they thinned it out too much I rushed I don't know why I was rushing I had the momentum you know up and down and up and down and I just kept going but um, in hindsight I probably should have just slowed down a little bit but um, oh I'm so happy first time doing set of three I was so worried about it <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go and have a coffee now Oh, it's 10 to 6. I better not have a coffee. <laughs> All right, I'll see you. Oh, I don't know. I might see you in a few hours for a top coat. Otherwise, I'll see you for the unmolding. See you soon. Hey, guys, I'm back. Now, I'm a bit disappointed. I was thinking about um, putting a top coat on in different colours, and I was thinking, oh, I better have a look at the back just to make sure if it's worked because if it's really ugly I don't want to waste any more resin on it um, so I did they're still really soft but I did flip it over and it is blobby on the back so I thought well instead of wasting it because it's a lot of resin um, a lot of product the top is really really beautiful I'd be happy with the top so what I'm going to do is I've got some more gold leaf and some more clear and I'm going to put more clear on and a little bit of gold around the the little nib there and that's going to be my top so I'm going to try and make the best of you know what's happened it's it's not ideal for whatever reason it's blobby um, I probably could have left it a little bit longer uh, when I was doing my other ones, it was really, really hot, but it wasn't a very hot day today. So the temperature really does play a big part in how long it takes for your resin to set. So um, I will definitely have another go. And I think what I'll do is I'll just concentrate. I'll, you know, I'll give 50 minutes like a starting point, but I will concentrate more on the consistency like the thickness of the resin and the size of the mound that it's leaving and go by that so I'll try again once these are, are out and I can use the molds again I'll do it again and I would like to make the pink a little bit darker so I'd like to go this again same colors but the pink a little bit darker because I really love the the shimmer on it I'll show you tomorrow once it's out and set how shimmery it is it's really pretty with the mica powder in it so we will have another go but we are not going to waste this I'm sure it can be saved so there's my gold um, and I'll just pour some of this on I do have enough room in my coaster molds here to put another layer on anyway 
because I, I it wasn't even half full so it's probably a good idea that I do add a little bit more hopefully I've got enough here to just cover it just a thin just a thin covering is all I want let's see I've got a tiny bit left I just want to push all this into the edges and make sure each one's got enough before I empty out my whole cup bear with me fast forward if you don't want to see me push resin into all these little little nooks and crannies all my little bumps here I guess I could just fast forward you couldn't I mm, oh it won't take long you can just you fast forward by the time I stop press recall uh, press pause come down and do it and then get back up and press record I'll be done hey so yeah a bit disappointed I, I don't know why it didn't work uh, I'm just putting it down to the fact that maybe it's just a bit cooler in my studio today I've also got the air conditioner on not because of the temperature in here but because of the humidity I could it's really really humid it's been raining all day um, so yeah it's just it's yucky <laughs> humid so I put the air con on which I guess has dropped the temperature which means I need to wait a bit longer for my resin to set up but look it's just trial and error you know what works for you one day may not necessarily work for you the next day and if you guys have been trying these 3d blooms or flowers you'll know exactly what I mean because you know you'll have a I'll have a win and then you'll have a fail <laughs> well I do anyway but look I'm happy to show you the ones that work and the ones that don't work it's how we learn I'll learn from this move on do another one tomorrow hopefully tomorrow let me just move that out of the way so I don't knock it there we go two down one to go this one seems to have a little bit more in it's covering really well I'm just pushing from the inside out and it just kind of finds its own way to the edges I don't need to do too much to it it's probably a good thing that it is a little bit thicker now because it would have been too thin just with the one coat so I would have had to put either more clear like this or maybe a darker pink would have been nice some pink glitter maybe just some um, pink alcohol ink just to keep it transparent would have been nice too I think that would be pretty it, I don't think it has to be opaque especially if you've got really delicate little flowers like I've got petals then you know you might just want um, more of a transparent look Alrighty, just get all that out. Probably shouldn't scrape it, but it's done now. Let's just mix that in. I'll give it a torch and then um, I'll put the gold leaf on. How are they looking? Okay, give my stick a wipe. And a quick torch. It's nine o'clock at night. I was trying to find a good movie, but oh, I can't find any decent ones. They're all shockers. Seen all the good ones. Home alone. Hubby's gone back to work for another two weeks, so home alone. Just me and my dogs. Right, there we go now let's do a little bit of this 
um, clear with the gold in it. Not too much. We'll just let it sort of spread out a little bit. I probably made up a little bit too much actually. Oops, fireworks. Freaking my dogs out, the fireworks. <laughs> Okay, so this one I probably have to go a little bit further out. I sort of need to try and cover up that big white blob there. And you can see how the gold is, you can see sort of where it is. So I'm just going to kind of spread it out just to incorporate that other gold that's already there from the other side. Like so, just so it kind of looks a bit more natural. I don't want very much. Probably put a little bit much on this one. So let's just spread it out ever so slightly. And this one. How's that looking? Hopefully we can save this hay and try again tomorrow. Because the top, like I said, is really beautiful. I'd be quite happy with having this as the top of my cake stand. These petals are just so delicate. Okay, so just going to spread them out a little bit towards the edge there just so that you're not seeing a definite line. They probably will be sticking out a little bit higher than the resin because it's such a thin layer that I've just put on. So they probably will stick out a little bit. But because this hasn't worked the way I wanted, I'm not going to be too worried about it. I'm just going to be happy that it looks pretty. Um, I'm not going to be too concerned about that little bit of gold leaf that's maybe sticking out a bit higher in the center. I don't think you're going to see it anyway. I'm just trying to encourage that out a little bit more I know it's quite large there but it's a large piece and I think it can accommodate having a slightly bigger center just to help cover up the the gold that's already there underneath you know what I mean like so Spread the edges out a little bit more just so that it's not a definite ring. Okay, I like it. I do, I like it. Now, hopefully, it won't spread any further than that. I'll come back and have a look at it in a little while, but for now, I think that's. That's it. I'll have a little play with it. I'm going to give it another torch, especially that middle section because you get a lot of air when you're poking around with that gold leaf. All right, so that's it there. Just going to leave it like that. Um, I'm going to cover it with my net like so um, and that's it all right um, I will see you in the morning for the unmolding see you then hey guys I'm back it's the next day and everything's set 
I do really love them. Just a shame about those blobbies on the back. And my pink, you can hardly see that it's pink. I guess if you're looking at it from the other side, you might see a bit more pink. But anyway, as I said earlier, we won't waste it. We'll see if we can save it. I've got my little pieces that go in between. So that's them. Let me get them out. There we go. That's all of them. I've got my nail file in case I have to file any edges. I've got my gold pen organized. So let's do these. Let's get them out. Comes out nice and easily. Such a shame, isn't it? All the trouble you go to to do something like this and it doesn't work the way you want it to work. But look, we'll save it and it'll be pretty nonetheless. So let's just see if these little things pop out easily or not. Don't want to break it. it. Might have a little bit of resin over the top. Yeah, it does. Look at that. All right. Make sure that there's no resin over the top. Give it a bit of a pull and it's out. Yay. One down. All right. So there's the back. As you can see, blobby. Look how pale that pink is. So I, I do prefer the, the top. I think it'll look really, really pretty. All right, let's get on to the next one. Make sure there's no resin over the top of that one. Feels like there might be. All right, let's get it out quickly. I know you guys are waiting, waiting, waiting for me to put this together. Oh, that one came out easily. Yep. So there we go. There's the back blobby again. And a lot of the white kind of fell through my, my gold on that side. That's why I put more on this side. Last one. Take that little top off. So I've got these molds just on just on Amazon. You know those cheap ones. You gotta be careful you don't over torch these ones. <laughs> Otherwise, little stick. I've had that happen before. Whoops! Out he comes. Yeah, so I think they come in like this scalloped edge, and they also come in like a geode shape as well. But I got these ones with the little inserts. It's so much easier. Like you don't have to worry about drilling your hole, do you? So do we want it that way? Nah, we'll do it this way. I'll do another one. I don't have any more gold bits though. I've got a silver set, so I might do like a maybe a teal with silver. So, oh, this is going to take me a while, you guys. I, I'm not going to bother sanding this tiny little lip there, but it's all the way around. Oops, there's one little, one little piece. It needs a sand. Where is it? Just there. That I could feel. So basically what I'm going to do is, is um, go around the edges. It's going to take me a while. It's actually a good idea if you're doing something big like this, is if you've got a cake turntable, put it on the cake turntable, sit down and then you can just spin your turntable, like put it on something, spin your cake turntable and uh, and paint the edges because yeah it's going to take me a while to do. So I won't bore you with the whole thing um, and then once I've done all the edges, now I've got, I've got to tell you about my pens, I've got two because one gets quite scuffed from doing edges, especially with my rock edges. So that's my side one. And then I've got another one. It's got top written on it. And I keep that. Oh, if I can get the lid off. Without unscrewing the whole thing. This one's got... I keep it just for my top edge. So it's not all scuffed up. And we'll just go around the top like that. 
I think I need to push it onto a, a piece of card to get that colour to come down. So I'm going to do that um, and the edge on all of them. God goodness, it's going to take me a while, isn't it? Anyway, so I'm going to do that um, and then I'll come back to you and we'll put them together. See you then. Righto. I've painted everything. I actually had to do the sides twice with my gold pen. Um, I think it's because that they've smooth sides. You'll have to excuse my <laughs> paint under my nails. I've been acrylic pouring this morning. Um, with my rock edges, they're already scuffed up and I only need one coat. So it's a little bit unusual for me um, to have to do two coats, but I did. Now, the first thing... I think I have to do, and I don't know, there's no instructions with this. This one, I think, goes on the bottom with the washer. Let's put that there. Oh, look, it's a Phillips head. I'm going to need a, I wonder if I'm going to actually need a screwdriver to turn that. I might have to get one. Don't go anywhere. Let's see if I can find a screwdriver. Um, yes, there's one. I've got a little toolbox here. Just as well. I didn't realise. Um, let's twist that in. Make sure that little wash is in the middle. Now, because this screw sits up a little bit, I wonder if I can get it any further than that. Oh, that actual screw isn't flat. It's on a bit of an angle. So a good thing to do if, if it is like sticking up is to put some little um, clear bumpers on the back. Um, I've got these ones. They're not very thick though. Like you can get different thicknesses. These are only little ones, but let's put it over there in the middle of the petal. Oops. I'm on the wrong side. Oh my gosh. Let's put it in the middle there. And we'll see if that's enough to lift it up. So one, two. I'll put it right on the edge so hopefully you won't see them and then I'll go three, four. If these ones aren't thick enough, where will I put you? Um, you can always, I guess, put two on or get some thicker ones. I got the really thin ones because I didn't want thick ones for my coasters. But for this, I may need something a bit thicker. That's not, not too bad. It probably needs, probably needs another one. Let's put another one on top of those. Just make it double the height. And then it should be be fine. They stick really well. But yeah, like I said, when you're doing these, you need to accommodate for the height of that screw there. Alright, let's see how that is. Perfect! Yay! Alright, now what do I do? These two look the same, so I guess it doesn't matter which one I do. I am going to put one of those on. Just as well it's white, it matches my matches my paw. Look at that. Oh, it's really, really sturdy that. Look at that. Very sturdy. The last one I did, which was the only one I've ever done, was a little bit wobbly. Alright. Um, now this one i don't have another washer but let's just put that there and then put that there i'm assuming that goes on there because when this goes on it it might scratch so i think that's just to protect it look at me go i'm doing it i'm doing it i guess you gotta be careful not to twist too much 
you don't want it to you know break there's a little bit of movement in it so if it's not you know exactly level you can you can twist it a little bit alrighty the next one look how high it is oh and it fits on perfectly these I must tell you these um, I looked for one that had a, a long thread on it there because some of them are only like half that thickness I think that's what the problem was with my last one it wasn't very thick so by the time you put this on and then this um, there's not very much left to screw on oh look I've got an I've got extras does that mean I should have put them on like that maybe I needed to do that as well I can still do that not a problem I can go and do that maybe it stops it from like spinning if you do that not sure anyway I'll do that later look at it you guys look at it and I put it on this black piece of paper here so that um, you can see it a bit better all right well it's not the best <laughs> best little photo there but I'll set it up outside for you um, so that you can see the finished product all right thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this and uh, we made it work regardless of the issues I had right I'll see you for the next one anyway bye for now